Let's stand as we begin this morning service. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be. Come on, talk to me. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Could you lift your hands all over this place and begin to give God some praise? Everybody just break forth in praise and worship the Lord. Father, we worship you. We give you praise. We give you honor. We give you glory. We lift up your much less holy name today. We declare that this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Because it is he who has made it and not we ourselves. Father, we worship you. We praise you. We worship you in the beauty of your holiness. We bless your mighty name. We lift up your mighty name. Hallelujah. Saturate us with your presence today. Saturate us with your anointing. Come among us, God. Come among us. Dwell among us today. You said you inhabit the praises of your people. And we have come to worship you. We have come to lay aside, oh God, self and worship you. And to give you the honor. To give you the glory that is due to your name. We say thank you today for all you have done. We thank you, Lord, for waking us up this morning. We thank you for health. We thank you for strength. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you, Lord, for your mercies and you every morning. We thank you, Lord, that you have withheld, oh God, your punishment and you have extended your mercy. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your grace. Hallelujah. Come on, people of God. Give the Lord some praise in the house. Shake off, shake off, shake your stuff together. You're in the house of God. You're in the presence of God. Hallelujah. Shake yourself together and give the Lord some praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, break forth in praise. God has been good to you. God has been good to you. Despite what you're going through, despite your failures, despite your shortcoming despite our sins god has been good to us he has forgiven our sins and he has cast them in the sea of forgetfulness father we worship you today hallelujah we say this is the day that the lord has made we will rejoice and be glad in it hallelujah 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 glory to god glory to god glory to god Father, we lift up this service to you today and we thank you, Lord, that you are already among us because you said you dwell in the praises of your people. You said where two and trees are gathered together in your name, you will be in the midst of them. Move among us today, Father. Anoint this service, God. Anoint this service, O oh God, with today's anointing, not with yesterday's anointing. We pray for a fresh anointing on this service, a fresh anointing in our lives, a fresh anointing on everyone who would minister. We pray that you will take away every spirit of fear. Give us boldness. Give us confidence, O oh God, to minister, to worship. We pray, O oh God, the spirit of unity will prevail among us today. Let love and unity prevail, God, because we have come together to encourage each other to encourage each other in good things, to encourage each other in the Lord. So Father, give us an encouraging spirit today. In the name of Jesus, we come against every stronghold. We come against every stronghold. We tear them down in the name of Jesus. Every mindset, every depression, everything God is gonna try to hinder your people from worshiping you. We tear them down in the name of Jesus and we lose the spirit of worship the spirit of liberty in this place oh God so that your people can worship so that your people can unite so that your people can love again worship together in the bond in the spirit of unity hallelujah father we thank you for doing it now in Jesus name and everybody say amen I want you to put your hands together and welcome our worship team as they come to lead us in a time of worship. God bless you. All those of you on the outside, it's good to have you. Come in quickly. Good to see Chris and his family again. 
and all the visitors thank you for coming we'll recognize you a little later but for now we're gonna go straight into worship are you ready to worship the Lord Hallelujah. are you ready to worship the Lord Hallelujah. Rayland Hill say yeah. yeah hallelujah God bless you
some praise Hallelujah. because he deserves the glory and the honor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In shady green pastures, so rich and so sweet, God lead his fair children along. Where the waters go flow, beats the weary ones feet, God lead his fair children. lovely people this morning I'm here because God kept me hallelujah I said I'm here because God kept me today I am going to be long eh? don't get frightened I will not be long today I thank God for his grace for his mercy and most of all I thank him for life 
He kept me. You know, you must go through a test to have testimonies. If you don't go through any tests, where is your testimony? And you know, when pastor asked me this morning to give a testimony, a short one, I said, Pastor, me ain't have any short testimony, you know. All my testimonies are long, but I'm going to make it very short. I can remember last year, you know, the enemy, I should say, struck down my left side with um, pinched knobs. And I couldn't even walk. I couldn't get up off the bed by myself. My husband and my daughter have to help me up. And I, you know, sometimes we Christian God. But we have to look back in Bible days that many people who have struck down with sickness and diseases, some of them it is not because they have sinned, if we look at Job, Job didn't do any sin, but the devil, the Lord allowed that thing to happen to Job. And so I look back at my life and I began to search my life and see all that what I have been doing for the Lord. And I, I came back, I said, the devil does not like that. You see, when you are a worker for the Lord, the devil does not like that. He will struck you down with sickness and disease. But when I look back, every time he struck me up, God raised me up. Hallelujah! He raised me up. But the devil ain't finished yet. You know, as the elderly began to send message for me, they are not seeing me. Come and visit them. The enemy struck me down because my body is so in pain. And then I was walking with a stick. And then I began to say, but why should I walk with a stick? My God is able to put my feet back together so that I can walk again. And then I took that stick and I said, and um, I don't even know if it break or what, I didn't care. I said, in the name of Jesus, devil, you is a liar. I shall walk by myself again in Jesus' name. Then I started to make preparation when I started to walk again to go and look for my people who are sending message to me. This year, he gave me a slip this in my back. I had a fell for so much years. Since 2018, I was going to feed some pigs for my son, and I fell down and I hit my back. Take it. I went to the doctor, yes. I spent about three or four days in the hospital, and I came out because they didn't see anything. So he hit me with some real, when I tell you about pain, real pain from the center of my back go down to my right foot now. So he's saying, you get over the left foot, he's the right foot now. And I began to pray. I began to pray and seek the face of God. I must walk again in Jesus' name because pain so much I can't walk good. Real pain. But the word of God said, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not to your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him. He shall direct your path. And I trust in God. And I began to walk again. Here I am. I don't have any sticker, any, any pain. The pain is not there, going down there anymore. It is not there. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Then in August this same year, I have a pain from under my left breast to the center here. It hasn't gone yet. And I was saying, you know what? I still trust the same God who healed my right and my left feet. I don't really so concerned about the health. He could mash me up, but I'm concerning in my healing because I know my God is the mighty healer. I know my God is the mighty healer. So no matter what the enemy do to this body, I 
I am concerned about my healing. You must concern about your healing. No matter what we go through, we must always believe that our God is already paid for our healing. And we must ask him for that strong faith as a grain of a mustard seed to receive our healing. We must do it. Brethren, you see me here? I am a walker for the Lord, not for man. I am a walker for the Lord. I have aim, I have determination, and I have expectation because I want to see the Lord someday. So when you see Sister Abraham, she's a woman of aim and a desire and an expectation to see the Lord. My desire is to do God's will. Not man's will, but the will of God. And I thank God today that he kept me. I thank God for my family, that they always be there for me. And I encourage you, brothers and sisters, we are in the last days. Don't bother with people in the hear them say, so long me hear Christ have come, he can't reach yes. Prepare to meet the Lord. Live every day as the last day. Live with love. Without love, you're bankrupt. God bless you.
Yes. You think real and easy? Come on, put your hands together one more time for Darren. <laughs> Sister Ingrid, you ready? Come, you're sitting down too long. Put your hands together for Sister Ingrid. She's going to bless our hearts with a testimony. And remember, this Encouragement Sunday is coming to you under the team through flame or flood. So whether we go through flame, which is fire, or flood, we're going in Jesus' name. Amen. And you know that God is going to get us through the flame and the flood. God bless you. When I was eight years old, I had a brain, I had a brain damage. I was unconscious for 29 days. And to God be the glory, I am here. It left me with um, disability on my left side. Right? But I can do almost everything. Amen. <laughs> growing up, I uh, always attended the Nazarene Church on the hill for some years, and then we stopped for a while, and then I decided I really want to go to church. I, join, I go back to the Catholic Church, and after some years, I I got walked 20 years ago by a special school children with disability. And I want to thank God for that job. Because that job is what brought me back to the Church of the Nazarene and to God. Because in that job, every day, we have to do devotion. And over the years, we have to say we read the whole Bible. We read a scripture every day and explanation. And sometimes what we read and we discuss, sometimes you listen on the radio, you listen to the pastor, you can identify with what in the Bible. And I used to tell myself, I would have liked to be there around those times you now. Like when God, um, when God was leading the people, the clouds, you have to say, was leading them by day and by night. I say I would have liked to experience that. But anyway, I became, I, I got baptized about say, 10 years ago. And after, I keep coming to church with the youth and then, I start, I develop a talent, God give me the talent, and everything I just want to share. And, but I could tell you, through those talents, everyone is like a stumbling block. The devil don't want me to pursue it, whatever. So he will attack everybody if he likes. But I keep pushing through. And I want to say praise God because through those talents, I could see God and not me. Right? And back then, when I was growing up, I never used to want to leave home because I used to ask God, why me? Why I have to be in this situation? But praise God today, I can see disability is not inability. And I want to tell you, each and every one of you here today, that when the Holy Spirit is walking within you and through you, the devil will try everything possible to stop you, but I just want to tell each and every one of you, oh God, because only God can make everything possible in your life. Amen.
Amen, amen. Come on, you can do better than that. Sometimes I get the opportunity to, you know, pick up Sister Ingrid and mornings and we get a, an opportunity to chat. And she will always talk about the, the school that she is working at, the Helping Hands um, School. And that's a, a school for, disability, for, for people with disability. But here we have how it, with, with a dis dis disability helping other persons with disability. And she is such a blessing at that school, I know, because one of our directors, Mr. Bacchus, he is a part of that organization. And very often, up to recently, they had a big barbecue. And I bought tickets for all my staff because I know the work that they're doing there is really to be a blessing to others. So God has plans for you. Disability is not inability. Amen. Amen. You continue to do what God would have you to do. Okay. I'm going to do my song again now. The devil is a liar. Amen. This morning, see the sunrise through my window onto my face. I gotta thank the Lord for His amazing grace. Rise from my bed. Feeling so good, feeling so strong, I got on my way. I gotta thank the Lord for letting me see another day. Thank you, Lord. My work, look back at my day. God has been good, so good to me. Gotta thank the Lord, letting me see another day. He gives me grace. He gives me strength He gives me hope To carry on Gotta thank the Lord For guiding me through Another day Thank you, Lord Everybody, let go. 
your hands and sing with me now. Thank you, Lord. I wanna thank you. Thank you for the rain. Jesus, thank you for your blessings in my life again. Thank you for the sunshine. some praise in the house God is a good God come on worship team come back just remain standing we're gonna continue to take the worship a little higher as we give God what belongs to him amen Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. we're gonna take the worship a little higher but we're gonna slow things down you know 2020 has been a year unlike any year for those of you who fellowship here, I said to you earlier this year that notwithstanding the challenges, that this will be one of your best years yet. And at the end of the year, you would reflect and you would see where it did indeed matter that it has been one of your best years yet. I read something online where a teacher wrote a commentary. I won't tell you what it is. And after reading the commentary, I went and I, I told my wife yesterday, I said, you know, we are really blessed. Because sometimes you look around and you think everybody else has it better than you. But it's when you start to count your blessings. It's when you start to look at 
you know, we need to stop comparing ourselves to others. Amen. And just focus on ourselves and thank God for who we are and what he has done for each and every one of us individually. People will talk. You know, over, over the weekend, I snapped out my mother's mother twice because she, she told me something. I remember this one, I tell her. I said, people will talk. Let people talk. True. That's their right. That's free will. God give us a will to talk. Just let people talk. But let us focus on our God. Amen? Amen. Do you feel the world is broken? And I'm sure at some time, we all feel as if the world is broken. Do you feel the shadows deepen? Indeed, we do. But do you know that all the dark won't stop the light from shining through? Amen. We do. Let us praise and worship the Lord this morning. We give you glory, Lord. We worship yeah. and we lift up. We magnify your name. Hallelujah. Amen.
of every situation that I struggle my mind. All my cares unburdened unto you I Let us sing that again. Let your living water
words, Isaiah 43 and verse 2 says that when we pass through the waters, God will be with us. And we shall not be drowned. And when we pass through the fire, he will be with us. The flame shall not kindle upon us. Neither shall the smell of smoke be on us. And with that, we know that God has proven himself many times over. And whatever the circumstances, whatever the situation might be on this Encouragement Sunday, we know that God is God yes. through a flame of oh, flood. God, the amen. devil is going to sing the song. Hide me now under your wings. Cover me within your mighty hands. When the oceans rise and thunders roll, we know that God is our God.
singing that song, two things came to my mind. That song oh, causes me a lot of pain because every time I sing it, I have to restrain myself from crying because I always associate that song with the, with the death of my brother, which was a really, really painful thing for me. and still is five years old. And it also reminded me of another thing. Once I was traveling in Antigua, from Antigua to St. Vincent, and I was on a Liat aircraft. And when we were taxiing out, as we were about to take off, the pilot said, you know, he's lost visibility. And the windows on the plane, it was just rain, 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 and more rain. And the pilot says that the altitude at which we fly is above the weather. And he says, as long as we get visibility and we lift off from that runway, all will be well. And I remember he taxied back to the terminal and when the weather had lifted, he went back to the end of the runway and he lifted off. And when you were going up, it was one of the worst, the most bumpy takeoffs that you've ever had. But on the way from Antigua to Barbados, above the flood, it was one of the, above the, the weather, it was one of the best flights I've ever had and I've had a few in my life. So, you know, in, in life, I think we need to make God practical. You have to find a way to make God real in your life. The things that you read in the Bible, you have to, whatever comes in, you have to find a way to make God real, to connect with God. Amen? Amen. 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 And that's why we have this service, this encouragement Sunday. We come and we fill ourselves up with spiritual things. And then we fill our belly with the physical food. Amen? Hallelujah. Pass it to Yesterday, Brother Kent and Sister Celia, she asked us to pray for her. Everybody remain standing. We are our brother's keeper. Amen? Come, Sister Celia. Sister Charmaine, sister. Come, Sister Taylor. Come, Sister Charmaine. Come, Brother Samuel. Come and stand behind her. Come, Sister Samuel. One shall put a thousand to flight. Two shall put ten thousand. We are here to encourage each other. She just walk up to me and say, Pastor, you need to pray for me. I don't know what the situation is, but I don't need to know that. All I need to know is how big my God is. Could you just outstretch your hands to her? As a point of contact 
Could you just sing that song softly when the ocean rise? Father, we worship you. We give you the praise, we give you the honor, we give you the glory. You said it's not by might, it's not by power, but it's by my spirit, said the Lord. He said if that spirit that raised up Jesus from the dead dwell in us, it shall quicken our mortal bodies by that spirit. So Father, we speak life by the spirit. We speak healing by the spirit. We speak protection by that same spirit. We speak deliverance by that same spirit. We come against every plan of the enemy that's warring against her on her job, in her home, in her family. We come against them in the name of Jesus and we command every stronghold to be broken in the name of Jesus. We come against principalities and powers. We come against spiritual wickedness in high places. We come against the rulers of the darkness of this world that is warring for her mind, warring against life, warring to destroy her. We cancel every plan in the name of Jesus. We decree and we declare that no weapon form against you will prosper and every tongue that rise against you in judgment you shall condemn it in the name of Jesus because you're a child of God and God has given you an inheritance and God has given you power to tread on serpents to tread on, 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 on the enemy every plan that he has for you is cancelled now in the name of Jesus you will go through the fire it will not burn you you will go through the flood it will not overwhelm you be strong be strong in the lord and in the power of his might stand firm guard yourself put on your whole armor cover your thoughts cover your mind your mind is the gateway to your to your body do not let the devil get through to your mind fill your mind with the word of god fill your mind with what god says god says you're the head and not the tail God says you're the first and not the last. God says you are blessed going out and coming in. God says he will be your protector. God says he will be your provider. God says he has your back. Father, cover her under your precious blood now. We lose the power of God in this place. Come on, saints. One shall put a thousand to flight. Two shall put ten thousand. Loose in the name of Jesus. Be set free in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We thank you. Thank you for victory. Thank you for strength. Thank you for courage. Thank you, God, for raising her up. In the name of Jesus, thank you for the breakthrough. Thank you for the protection. Lift your hands and give God thanks, everybody. Just celebrate with her. Hallelujah. 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 God bless you. Thank you, elders. Thank you. Hallelujah. Please, we'd invite Pastor Taylor to come and introduce our speaker for today. Our speaker is no stranger to us. A young man anointed by God, love you and, and love and love the Lord with all his heart. I want you to just put your hands together and make welcome Brother Lenroy Charles to bring the word.
Praise the Lord. God is good. And all the time. Hallelujah. God is indeed a good God, a faithful God. And we just have to continue to look to him. In the good times and in the bad times, God is still God. Let us be still and know that he is God. He is God all by himself. All we just have to do is trust and believe in him. And God will see us through. Praise the Lord. Father, I lift you up this morning. I give you the praise. I give you the glory. And Father, I pray that you will take full control today. And I pray that you will be lifted up and you'll be glorified at the end of it all. In Jesus' name, amen. God through flame or flood. If you have your Bibles with me, turn to Isaiah chapter 43. We'll read verse 2 this morning. When thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned. Neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. Oh, such comforting words to know that despite whatever we are going through, God will be with us. In fact, we are going to go through difficult times. This scripture reminds us of this. When we go through the fire, when we go through our floods, this is indicative that we are going to go through some challenging times. We are going to go through some hard times. Your problem might be different than mine, but at the end of the day, we are going to be going through difficult times, but God promises that he will be with us. 2020, we have been hearing a lot about this year, so I did my research, and I found out what persons are saying. Some persons are saying some bad things, and some persons are saying some good things. Now, some of the bad things, this is indeed a scary year. This is the worst of the, the worst, and some persons even wish that we could just skip th straight to 2021 or even 2022. Some persons are over this year totally. But on the other hand, there are persons who are saying that this year has been a year of revelation, a year for us, a year of opportunities, a, way, a year where we can listen to God and hear what God is saying to our lives. How are we viewing 2020 this morning? And I want us this morning to get two points. During our difficult times, during our challenges, during our hard times, I want us this morning to remember that we should get even closer to God. We should develop a relationship where we will put God first in everything that we do. Where we can speak to him about everything. In fact, God wants us to be intimate with him. Genesis 1.26 tells us that God made man. He said, let us make man in our image and our likeness. This signifies that God wants us to be closer to him. God wants us to talk to him. God wants us to read his word. God wants us to relate everything about our lives to him. Just like how we would talk to our friend, a confidant, our brother, our sister. That's what we have to do. Reach out to God. Extend to him. We're going down to the road for a walk. We're going for a jog at school, at play. We have to put God in every aspect of our lives. Because God is watching and God is waiting for us. I want us to turn to Genesis chapter 18. Very profound verse. That's Genesis chapter 18, reading from 17 to 19. Just turn this over. And it says, And the Lord said, Shall I hide from Abraham that thing which I do? Seeing that Abraham shall surely become a great and mighty nation, and all the nations of the earth shall be blessed in him. For I know him, that he will command his children and his household after him, and they shall keep the way of the Lord to do justice and judgment, that the Lord may bring upon Abraham that which he hath spoken of him. God has called us out of darkness into his marvelous light. We are a chosen people. And when we stay connected to God, when we stay close to God, God will reveal certain secrets to us. He will show us certain things. I have heard testimonies from persons from 2019 and in the beginning of 2020 where God has been leading them to, to, to study the word and to plan certain things, to launch out in their business, to step out in faith. Why? Because God knew that 2020 would have been a, a challenge in the air. And God has been speaking to some of us. Some of us have obeyed. 
and some persons are still waiting. But the idea is still there. God is revealing to you certain things and you have to launch out. I've heard farmers saying that God has been leading them to do certain planting, uh, ginger and all these sort of things. And they are making it throughout this pandemic. What a God we serve. There are some persons who did not know what is going to happen because they lost their jobs. But at the end of the day, they reach out to God. They seek God despite whatever they're going through. And God has opened doors for them. They have jobs even in a pandemic. When persons are losing jobs, they're able to get it. There are some persons who have to wait a while. But I know that God is with you. God is with us. And we just have to reach out and look heavenward. Let us try to get closer to God. Because when we are close to God, our whole attitude changes, you know. We develop a positive attitude. This is happening right now, but God, you're going to do it for me. Something is going on in my household right now, on my job right now, but God, you're going to take control of this. Man, we have to look for the good in every situation. Are you going to be an optimist or a pessimist? We serve a great God. Oh my God. The God who said, let there be and there was. The all-powerful God. The God who parted the Red Sea. God is a faithful God. Are you hearing me this morning? God is a faithful God. Hallelujah. Let us strive to get even closer to God every single day of our lives. Wake up in the morning and talk to God. Reach out to God. Ask him questions if you have to. God has all the answers. God is waiting. Hallelujah. You may be in your prison right now. You may be feeling down right now. You may be feeling depressed right now. But God is able. God is able to bring you through. And he's going to see you through. Do not follow about the world economy. The economy of God could never be bankrupt. Never. There's a song that says, my God is a millionaire. I'm stepping on gold. Listen to me this morning. God is no man's debtor. He is our God and he is our faithful God. And he will see us through. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, somebody. Hallelujah. God is doing something. And as Brother Kenton is saying, when we at the end of this year, I believe that when we reflect, we're going to see that God was walking with us. God was standing by us. A lot of persons didn't make it here this morning. A lot of persons are dead today, but we are here. And God, I believe, is going to see us through. Oh my God, what a God. What a God. I am not worried about tomorrow. We should not be worried about tomorrow. Why should I be worried about tomorrow? Huh? Ah, oh my God. My God is no man's debtor. A cattle on a thousand hill belong to him. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. The world and they that dwell therein. That is our God. That is our God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I want us during this difficult time to remember that when we stay connected to God, that we have to trust God. That we have to trust him in all of our challenges, in all of our circumstances. We have to look to him. We have to look heavenward. In fact, trusting in the Lord with all our heart is the opposite of doubting God and his word. Such trust is fundamental to our relationship with God. And it's based on the premise that he is trustworthy. As God's children, we can be assured that our heavenly father loves us and will faithfully care for us, guide us rightly, give us grace, and keep his promises. In the most difficult times of our lives, we can commit our way to the Lord and trust him to walk on our behalf. Friends, our own understanding is limited fallible and subject to error we must therefore be enlightened by god's word and spirit to lean on our own understanding rather than to trust god according to his word and spirit magnifies the human mind 
while it diminishes the human spirit. We should demonstrate our trust in God by asking him continually for wisdom and knowledge of his will in all spheres of our life. Not some, all spheres of our lives. I know that things can get very difficult, very challenging. Sometimes we want to throw in the towel. But we just got to be reminded. And I want to encourage everyone this morning. There are times that you may be at home and the Lord brings someone to your mind. Pray for that person. Reach out to that person. God is speaking. That's how God works, you know. If you are able to give someone something, give. When we give, God will give back to us. Good measure. Press down and shaking together. Would he cause men to pour into our bosom? I have seen, I've experienced God myself. I know what God can do. All we just have to do is to trust and believe him. And those persons who have the business idea in their head, you have the plans, God has been leading you to go back to the farming, launch out. If you need some assistance, ask somebody from, for some assistance. There's nothing wrong with that. All right? So God is good. So I've come to the end of my sermon this morning. And I just want to pray that God will continue to, to bless us and keep us. Praise the Lord. Father, we give you praise. We give you thanks this morning because you are God. We lift you up, O oh God, because you are God all by yourselves. We just want to praise you this morning, Almighty God. And so, Father, this morning I bring my brothers and my sisters before you. I pray that you will touch them, Almighty God. I pray that you will touch us, Almighty God, from the crown of our heads to the soles of our feet this morning. I pray that, Almighty God, that you will continue to speak to us, my God. And I pray that you will draw us even closer to you, Almighty God. God, draw us even closer to you, O God, and help us to remain, O God, Father, positive despite our challenges because you promise that you will never leave us nor forsake us. You promise that you will be with us even to the end of this age, God. So, Father God, I pray that you will open doors for your people. I pray that, Almighty God, that you will touch the young ones, the old ones, my God. I pray that, Almighty God, that you will move according to your spirit, God. And I pray that you will take us to higher heights and greater depths through you, my God. And, God, we give you the praise. We give you the glory. And we give you the honor. In Jesus' name, amen. Somebody shout, Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus, praise the Lord. God is indeed a great God. Continue to trust God. Continue to reach out to God. Continue to bless him every day despite the challenges, despite the difficulties. Hallelujah. Pastor Taylor. Yeah. Hallelujah. Come on, that one was for Pastor Taylor. Put your hands together for Brother Lenroy for such a timely word. Did you receive it? Yeah. Say, Lord, Lord, we receive in Jesus' name. Listen, the election is over. I say the election is over. We have prayed and God has answered. And that is final. Now we shall move on with our lives. The church must go on. The church must go on. Because the church is the watchdog over the nation. How many of you know that? We are in charge of the nation we are the ecclesia we have the authority to pray for this nation and we're going to do that before we go amen? amen so we will stick together are you ready to go home no we're just warming up and i ain't talking about the food eh? i know you're smelling something like me but ladies and gentlemen we're going to welcome our choir who's going to come and bless our heart with a song put your hands together and give them a warm welcome
Hallelujah, hallelujah. He will hold us fast. Amen? Why? Because he loves you so. Greater love than this had no man than a man lay down his life for his. Talk to me. For his. And he called you his friend. You are not his enemy. You are not a stranger. You are God's friend. We are going to ask the band now to do the item. They are going to do uh, instrumental. So put your hands together for the band. Present, good afternoon. God is good. All the time. Hallelujah. So we as a band, we kept wondering what song to play. And God had laid this song on one of our hearts, and we decided to go with it. Um, this song simply says, I will sing of your love forever. Um, when we look at where we're coming from, and sometimes what we, we go through, and we still standing, you hear what I'm saying? And we still standing. There's only one reason for that. That's God and his love. We here cannot pretend that we are perfect. We are not perfect. We all have fallen short at some point in our lives. Amen? And still God is blessing us. When man will hold grudge against us. Look back. Look around. Look around your lives and you see sometimes people hold stuff against you for whatever reasons. But look at our God's love. And that's why we're going to do this song. If you know the word, sing along with us. This song is a very popular song. It just simply says, I will sing of your love forever.
stand to your feet with me. Let's hear it for the drummer, Jaron. Come on, show some love, show some love. Let's hear it for the bass man, Afel. Let's hear it for the guitarist, Brother Moses. And let's hear it for our keyboardist, Brother Darren. Hallelujah. I can sing of your love forever. 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 Sing of your love forever. Sing of your love forever. Sing of your love forever and ever. Sing of your love forever. Sing of your love forever. Sing of your love forever and ever. I can sing of your love forever. 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 Over the mountains and the sea, your river runs with love for me. And I will open up my heart and let the healer set me free. I'm happy to be in the truth. And I will daily lift my head. For I will always sing up when you look in Me. And I will open up my heart and let the healer set me free. I'm happy to be in the truth. And I will daily lift my hands. For I will always sing of when you love him back. I will Worship the Lord, just worship the Lord, be encouraged. God is with you, He loves you, He loves you with an everlasting love. His love has no limit, His love has no limit, His grace has no bound. cannot do anything to stop God from loving you. Nothing you can do to stop God from loving you this morning. 
He love you when you mess up. He love you when you're doing things right. His love is unchanging. His mercy is anew every morning. His grace is sufficient for you. Grace is unmerited favor. You don't deserve it. I don't deserve it. But God, give me His grace. And we could sing of His love. Father, we thank you. Thank you for your love. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Let's pray. Take it down. Father, we have come to the end of this part of the service to go into the beginning of another aspect. And Father, we, we thank you for all that have turned out today. And we thank you for the opportunity so that, that you have given us to encourage each other. We don't know what each other are going through, but we just want to pray for your people today that you will cause them to mount up with wings as eagles. You said you will run and not be weary. They that put their trust in you will walk and not faint. Let them not take their eyes off of you, but to keep their eyes on you always. Even at their lowest ebb, even at their weakest point, even when they feel like throwing in the towel, when they have messed up God, cause them to keep their eyes on you. Because you said the people that know their God shall be strong and they shall do exploits. Remind us, O oh God, who we are. We are not in anybody. We may look like ordinary people, but we are royalty. We are bought with a price. We are chosen by you. We are called out of darkness into your marvelous light to show forth your praises, to give leadership to this nation, to cover this nation in prayer, to cover our families, to encourage one another. Let us be encouragers, O oh God. Forgive us where we fail to be encouragers. Forgive us where we fail, where we drop the ball. Renew our strength, O oh God. Help us to refocus and to keep our minds on you. Because you said, they that keep their minds on you, you will keep them in perfect peace. Oh God, hover over this congregation. And I give us a fresh anointing, Father. We do not pray for yesterday's anointing, but a new anointing, God. That will give us the strength, the confidence, the boldness, and everything we need to face the future, to face the challenges that life will throw at us. Oh God, we thank you for the weapons of our warfare. They're not carnal, but they are mighty through God, through the pulling down of strongholds. Let us use those weapons today in the name of Jesus. The weapons of prayer, the weapon of praise, the weapon of worship, the weapon of declaration. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, cover your people under your precious blood. Build a hedge around them. Oh God, minister to those who are sick. Minister to those who are fighting challenges. Challenges in their homes, challenges in their, in their marriages, challenges in their relationship, challenges on the job. Father, we lift them up before you now and we ask in the name of Jesus that you will make a way where there seems to be no way. Those that are fighting challenges in their business, challenges God in their finances. Father, I pray as they call on you that you will make a way where there is no way. As you roll back the Red Sea for the children of Israel, I pray that you will roll back the Red Sea for them. Protect them, God, from the enemy. Protect them, God, 
from the fire protect them God from the wave protect them from the flood God be with them in the name of Jesus in their going out and in their coming in oh God be their strong tower be their mighty fortress be the rock on which you stand God in the name of Jesus and we thank you for doing it now in Jesus name and if you believe say Lord I receive in Jesus name and so father we lift up the food that we are about to partake of and we ask your richest blessing on it and all those who will receive we ask that you will bless it sanctify it in Jesus mighty name and everybody say amen amen God bless you be seated Hallelujah. So, take it down a little bit, guys. So, folks, instruct me. Tell me when you're ready. How are we doing this? You coming from this side? In a line. Okay, good. So, we're taking, starting a line. We line up on this side. And you remove across the back and come back to your seat. All right? So, we take this side first. All right. And we will be entertained by some music from our musicians. And we want to say God bless you and thank you for coming out and being a part of this encouragement service. Let us continue to spend the day and the week encouraging each other with all good things. Amen. Amen.